What are common law rights, you ask? Well, you are in the right place because I'm going to explain the difference to you between common law trademark rights and the rights that someone has when they have already received a registered trademark certificate. Hi everyone, my name is Marcella Dominguez and I have been helping small business owners and medium-sized companies navigate the trademark registration process for a long time now. If you haven't already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel, also hit the notifications tab, and make sure that you leave a comment below telling me what your favorite part about this video was. I want to continue to help you and I want, my goal is to make sure that you learn more than you knew before you started watching. So if you're wondering, do I have common law trademark rights? What are common law trademark rights and are they applicable to me? Today I want to make sure that I answer all of those points. So people who do not have registered trademark certificates are also referred to common law trademark holders. So people who do not have trademark registration certificates are also referred to as common law trademark holders. So that means that if you have been using a particular name and maybe using the TM symbol next to the name, that means that you have potentially claimed common law trademark rights in a name, in a slogan, in a logo. So why is this important? Well, let's say that you were sued or you wanted to sue somebody else because they were potentially infringing on your name. Well, you would only be able to sue as a common law trademark rights holder. That means that you're to that means that you have common law trademark rights which aren't necessarily comparable to those of someone who has a registered trademark certificate. But common law trademark holders do have certain rights in a name and that means that you would be able to stop people from using the name within the geographic area in which it, you have been using your common law trademark rights. So if you have been using the name McDonald's within a certain be able to stop someone else from using the name Tweezies within your geographic area where you have been selling either a product or a service under the business name Tweezies. Now let's say somebody else acquired a trademark registration for the word Tweezies, but they acquired that registration after you had already been using your name. Well, you would be able to keep those people out of the geographic area in which you have been using your common law trademark rights in that name Tweezies. Now common law trademark rights are important because if you don't have a registered trademark certificate, then you need something to fall back on. And we don't want these people to be left with zero. Those people still should be able to claim rights in something. Don't you agree? Tell me what you think. Should someone who does not have a registered trademark certificate, but who has been using a particular name, should they have any rights at all? Do you think it's fair that these people have common law trademark rights? Type yes or no in the comments below because I am curious about your opinion. So regardless of whether you said yes or no in the comments, these people would be able to assert common law trademark rights against someone who has registered after them. Now, we don't want the person within the geographic area to be left with nothing, but they would be able to exclude people from a certain geographical area. Now, what about the person who has the registered trademark? Where would they be able to use it? Well, they would be able to use it everywhere else except that geographic area. So maybe this highlights an important point for you. Do you think it's beneficial to have common law trademark rights when you could just be registering your trademark and have superior rights in the name or have broader rights in the name, I should say? You understand with this example why it's so important that trademark registrations Hold a place in your business if you are serious about growing it. So if you want to be the one to use it in a broader area without the worries and the challenges of a, a common law a rights holder being able to take your name or to be able to take a chunk of business from you, then you want to make sure that you beat other people to the punch and you register a name before a common law trademark holder just sits on it. So, you know, common law trademark holders do have a very important place in trademark law in that they still are able to assert some rights against even a trademark holder. 
but it is important to know who was using the trademark first and where they were using the trademark. So if you need help understanding some of these different elements, then I invite you to leave your questions down below or you can scroll down in the description where you can contact us for more information. We appreciate you watching this video, but as we said, our goal is that you learn more than before you started watching the video. So if that was the case, make sure that you give me a thumbs up and that you hit the red subscribe button below. I hope to see you in my next video. And if you want to learn more about common law trademark rights, make sure that you watch this video. I'm definitely interrupting my own video to let you know that if you feel like you can safely and confidently navigate the trademark process on your own, to scroll down and click on the link below. Coachforcreatives.com will allow you to have your own templates, watch your own videos, and use courses to help you get through this trademark process. That's it. Keep watching.